What up, YouTube gang? This is Jabal I see Spec Kurt, man, and I'm up in here. I here working with a Chevrolet C10, and it is a nightmare, man. It's when you come on somebody having to finish up something, it's like so much you have to really check and see what's going on because you, they tell you that something was done one way, and then you you start looking at things and you're just lost. So <clears throat> here I am, man. I'm trying to get the PCM wired up. I got the E40 ECM. I got a LY6 Gen 4 LS motor. You know, more comparable to the LS3, excluding the intake and the heads. But as you can see, I got the LS3 intake on here. Pretty sure these are still the factory LY6 heads. I got the the E40 ECM, which is the hybrid ECM, and you know we got the connections for the transmission and the ECM all right here. It's not it's not two separate ECMs. Um, we got our Lingenfelter 58x to 24x conversion converter over here. And right now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to get my wires under control here. I got my I'm not I was trying to crank it, we're not getting a spark, so I followed the wires and only to see that the spark wires that supply the 12 volts to the coil is not even connected, you know. So I was just wondering how do these guys crank this truck up? They say they started it up in the past, but it's no way it could have started being that freaking coil wires aren't connected unless after they started somebody came behind and cut everything. I'm not sure what the heck was going on, but. I gotta connect these two pink wires. These are for my ignition coils. And yeah. And the way I check the, to find those wires, I put my voltmeter on. As you can see, I got a black wire in that harness there. And then I put it on the sound option so that you can find wires. And then I can put the connector on all the wires until I got a noise. As you can see, like so. Where's my connector at? It's the red one. Where you at? Down here. So right here. That's the other side to this wire here. You got one wire for one side of the um, bank and the other wire controls for the other side of the bank. Let's turn this off. Keep leaving it on. But anyway, what I'm what this video is about, man, is show you guys what I got off Amazon. I got a relay kit off Amazon that's going to allow me to, yes, control all of my own functions, such as my fuel pump relay, voltage one circuit, voltage one circuit, voltage zero circuit, put all that stuff on separate relays, my cooling fans, I can put it on the relay. And it's a pretty cool little kit, man. You go on Amazon.com, just look up relay kit. Um it's called True Mods. IP65 waterproof bus bar power distribution block. I went on there looking for the relay. And this came up. This is what I was found. And it said also recommended with this purchase. And it recommended relays, which was this box, and it recommended the distribution box, which was this box. So my power, my main power is gonna go to this box. I'm gonna run all of my you know, six connections here. I'm going to run all six of these relays on um, accessory voltage from here to here. I got fuses, so I can connect all my fuses for these circuits as well. And then, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going to connect all my fuses there. I uh, write out in my little paper what each one is for. And probably put them on the tire on the wheel well. And it also came with an additional two, four, six, eight, ten fuses. So I mean, I'm probably gonna send this back because I don't need all those fuses, but I mean relays. So I'm probably gonna send that back. So main thing you want to get is a distribution box and this um distribution thing here, whatever it's called. Bus bar distribution block. And this one is called oh, this one is called waterproof relay box with relays and fuses that's really all you need unless you just need some relays but now nah, you just need to order this and the distribution power distribution block but I mean you buy relays ordering off Amazon compared to going to the parts store 
gonna save you a lot of money. Ten relays from parts though, that was gonna be probably about a hundred bucks, or at least sixty. So yeah, keep that in mind, man. But this is your boy C Spam. I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to wire this thing up and stay tuned. I'll bring you back. Let's see what the outcome looks like. All right. Check it out, game. What's up, man? I am back, man. A whole nother day. A little bit more progress. As you know, we got the True Mods distribution on block. Let's see. We got the True Mods uh, bus bar distribution block. This, this right here. All right, we got our bus bar 12 volt positive going in, and we can distribute that out to this relay box here. All right, that's going to be coming in. All of these terminals are going to be coming into this relay box right over here. I got to put them in there. I got to get this situated in the vehicle where I want it. Into my fuses and then from my fuses back into the relays. And from the relays, we are going out to the source that I need the power. Okay. So I think I'm going to mount these right here in my truck. Uh, see, there we go. That's our relays there. All of this stuff is weatherproof, as you can see. Got weatherproof stuff to go on there. It's easier to get these wires in place first, then come back and start putting your weatherproof things in place. It's easy to take the terminals out once you put them in place. It's just a little tiny flat tube screwdriver. You go in and you push the tab in and pull it out. But the same thing pretty much on this one. So if you come in from the back to get those out, okay? But super easy. Got the weatherproof and stuff in over here mount it and everything but this is where i plan on putting these things man as you can see the size of this one here and the size of this one here they go perfectly right here on the fender the c10 the small one will be here and the other one will be here it's perfect size all right i put this here the wire and to go through here in the back of this one over here and i ordered me some a couple more bus bars for the negative term for negative connections as well as another bus bar for positive connections and yeah i get everything hooked up then i hook the other bus bar up somewhere and then all of my sources my sources to trigger the relays i run them to the bus bar and have the connections from here on the blue wire side which is the positive from the source i have the a bus bar for that mounted somewhere over here where those can connect to the bus bar. So nothing is hardwired, I can easily disconnect. Okay, but yeah, that's where I'm gonna put everything at over here. Get all this wire and sort it out. Um, yeah, I was trying to crank the truck, but I see that the this is a hot wire for the ignition side on one side and the hot wire for ignition on the other side. So a lot of stuff isn't hooked up. I gotta go through the wiring diagram and make sure all this stuff is hooked up as it should be. Get everything on a relay. All right, I'm gonna put each of these fans on their own separate relay. Um, 12 volt, 80 watt. Yeah, I'm gonna put them on this separate relay. Each fan on this separate relay. I put both of the ignition sides probably on the same relay. Um, put a fuel pump on its own relay. And what else I got? I probably uh, I don't know. I may just leave the headlights how they are instead of putting them on a relay, but we shall see. I might put them on a relay as well. But I got six relays on the distribution block and I can hook more relays up somewhere else. So, hey, we're gonna go ahead and finish getting this thing thrown together and let you guys see how everything looks once it's in location where it should be. All right, peace. So we got everything wired up. What I'm doing, I got my distribution block over here. I'm gonna run the power wire back up in here, out this other hole. I ordered me two battery, new battery terminals, connectors. that got like six different four gauge inputs on the side where I can be able to run my heavy wires straight to it without having to worry about a bunch of connectors. And um, yeah, so looking forward to getting that. And yeah, so let me go ahead. What I'm doing now is I'm just connecting 
the distribution block to the fuse connections and I'm trying to put in order. So this is one, I got one, two, three, it's gonna be going down like that. I'm just tugging on each wire until I get them all in place. Like so. Trying to make my shit. stuff as clean as possible. Can't stand stuff to look a mess. Which is the reason why I'm going with distribution blocks. I'm at wire terminal connectors so that I can just get everything in place. And then with the terminal connectors, I can just mount them in one location, run the wires, and I will run these wires long and nothing like that. I ran the yellow ones a little extra long. I wasn't sure where I was going to mount it, but I may end up clipping them depending on where I decide to mount them at. One, two, three. Uh, then you push down your little uh, ceiling seal plugs. Try to get a try to keep as much moisture, water, all that good stuff out of there. That's what this is for, pretty much. Well, what it's definitely for. All right, so. Another these things right on down so we can get them in place. Alright, we don't forgot what I was doing. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see, one, two, three. So just stay tuned until we get this thing finished up. Anyway, check it out, gang. It's your boy, C-Spread Kurt, man. I'm outside. We're getting this box all wired up, man. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to go ahead and start hooking up my um, my hot wires. I'm going to go ahead and get these hot wires hooked up to all the sources where I want them to go from the relay box. This relay box is a box that I, of course, got off of Amazon. It comes with the distribution box, relay fuse box right here. It has six relays, six fuses in there. Oh um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff wired on up and go from there. You guys tag on a little bit, see the progress. Okay. So let's get to it. Alright, so first off I want all my connectors to be kind of um isolated circuits. So I'm cramping them and I'm gonna put new connectors on here that that I can't recall what they're called the the connectors that are insulated disconnect pairs they're insulated meaning that um when you put it on it's completely covering the wire none of the terminal is exposed it's a little breezy out here gang so i'm gonna go ahead and wire up some more stuff and bring you back bring you back in and see what's going on later okay we don't need all that wind noise in the camera but yeah this is where we at right here so far okay Getting things wired up. I'm gonna mount this here. I got some absorber mount feet coming in. The little rubber bushing mounts that you typically get with an MSD box. Got that off Amazon as well. And I just sent back my distributor and booster that I previously got. I'm gonna go with the hydro booster. So I got that out the way. Hydro booster gonna be much cleaner. It's not gonna be a big booster here. It's just gonna be a little old hydro booster. Hy hydraulic master cylinder with the hydro booster running to the power steering, integrate all that good stuff, and we're gonna be good there. I need to get online and order me another alternator terminal. That's what I need to do. So stay tuned for all that game. This is your boy, and we'll be back. Yo, we just finishing up today's task with the Chevrolet C10. Ain't that right, Chance? Huh? So we just finishing up today with the C10? What's the C10? Oh my gosh. Anyway, we just finished up with the C10, guys. Um, so far today, what we achieved so far is... Uh, it's a nightmare, man. I'm trying to get everything wired up at least. And then I go back and clean up the wiring and try to make it as slick as possible. 
I'm wiring it as such. I'll probably be able to put all this that I run across here in this big wire loom. And it's still gonna look clean, but right now I just got stuff going across. I got my voltage one, voltage one and voltage zero wire here. It's ran on a relay. Got my fuel pump right here. It's that green and white wire. This is the E40 ECM, the green and white wire. Um, a good way to be able to tell your wires apart also, guys, is um, just get your multimeter, put it on the little sound sex sound selector, and just um, touch, touch your wires and just get a wiring diagram. Good way to check from the engine is touch your wires wherever you're trying to locate the wire on the engine and if the harness is cut like these wires here, you can touch the other end to find which is the correct wire. So right here we got our injector wires, these two big fat pink wires right there. I'm going to run those on the same relay. I'm going to put the injectors on the relay. Should I put the injectors on the relay? I'm going to look at the wiring diagram. <clears throat> They're on the relay on the wiring diagram. I put them on the relay, but uh, I might just run those straight to 12 volts. Um yeah i'm gonna put them injectors on 12 volts i don't see the injectors needing a relay yeah save my relays for something else but put your comments down below let me know what you think gang this is where we at so far though getting the ls ly6 ls wired up man okay uh, i got my fans wired up right there i got me a negative distribution block right here i'm gonna put a positive distribution block right over there and yeah get my battery right here some big fat wire terminals that I ordered off Amazon. These things are right over here. I got these wiring terminals right here, man. Off of Amazon. Alright. Pretty slick, man. Pretty slick. Put stuff on the top here. Put big gauge wires here on the side. I mean, that is just awesome right there. Let me see if they got the name on here still. Excuse me. Through the box away. I know it's not it's right here. <clears throat> All right. So the bond, the name of this is Battery Terminal Connector Twelve. Just look look up Battery Terminal Connector Multi Wire Connector or something like that. It's gonna come up. My package came right here. Pretty much this is the same as this except for much smaller. I thought this is what I needed, but I ordered it too big. This is like an M10. I need to actually have an M5. And it's smaller. This is five of these in this little box. This is no, this is actually six in this box. This right here is only four, so you can see the big difference in size. <laughs> and what I thought I got the first time, what I really needed right here. I'm about to open it up. But yo, like, share, subscribe to your boy, man. And I'm out of here, man. Stay tuned. We're gonna get to it. Look at this boy right here. What is he doing? Get out of my car. Hey y'all, hold it down, man. Peace.